developmentalist, my friend Rodman Dunbar is here, all right? <laughs> Plus, we've got a special holiday surprise that is sure to melt even the iciest of hearts. Ooh, Ooh I can't wait. Mm -hmm. And later, just in time for some holiday advice, we've got a man here who is here to break the guy code and help us out with a little manslation. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But first, <laughs> who's up for a little girl chat? Always. Yeah. You guys know that it's cold outside. Yes, and yes, when it's cold, we all like to cuddle, right? Yes. You guys love to cuddle? Well, you have to hear about this Oregon woman who's actually making money by cuddling. What? Yes, Samantha Hess charges a dollar a minute to cuddle with total strangers. She says that it helps people feel loved and more comfortable with physical touch. So do you guys think this is a good idea? No. No, wait, wait, girl, the sure? hustle is real. Well, don't really yeah. take a to think <laughs> about it. Wait, are we sure that all she's doing is cuddling? Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah, Does she have boundaries? I have to be honest, some Does she guys, have boundaries? Some guys just really like to cuddle. Yeah. Yes. Some people really like to cuddle. I, I mean, wait, I'm a person who, I, I think we person, have some cuddlers out here. I know, like, we hear yeah. that. For you men out there, you, do you think that if you're cuddling with a woman that you don't know and it's really comfortable and she's probably a pro cuddler, that it could lead to the things? other things? Like it could be like, you know, wanting to be just held by somebody. Yeah, like, well, speaking from a professional cuddler like myself. <laughs> yeah. You Girl, know, I'm professional charging, means I, you get paid. No, right? but I am the queen <laughs> of spooning. I actually enjoy I love cuddling. It. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm the best at it. They'll never want to leave me, ever. <laughs> I'm serious. I like to cuddle too. Yeah. I do. And Adam, the, Adam likes to cuddle, but he has like his limits. Like, we can cuddle for maybe about like 10, 15 minutes, and then he's like, "Oh, I'm hot." And then he kind of like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But at least he gives me that 10, 15 minutes. Wait, wait. I love it. But this woman actually, she charges one dollar a minute. So when you think about it, she charges somebody. 10 minutes, that's $10. 60 minutes an hour is 60 bucks. Kind of like a massage. Just, let's just say for, for instance, what if you, if you were one of, like her, like mm -hmm. you were a professional, how long do you think you could do it? I don't know, it depends on how hard times get, you know? <laughs> <laughs> This is sure, from the like, beginning like like that. Wait, wait. Now that I think yeah. about it. Don't you guys think it'll feel like a little awkward afterwards? You know, you're cuddling, then you're like, uh, time's up, I guess I gotta go. <laughs> okay, so, so that was my issue. Like, I would be what I guess you guys could consider a beginner cuddler. Okay. I had never cuddled before in my entire life. Really? Yeah, because you and Lenny don't hold hands even. Yeah, we're not into that sort of thing. And I don't really like people touching me what? while I sleep. Like, I don't like any of that stuff. Okay. So, just recently, I, I enjoyed cuddling. Really? Like, so I have a newfound love for this, for this cuddle thing. I had no idea, but it does have a time limit. Yes. I do agree that you cuddle for a little bit, and then <laughs> once I start falling asleep, I don't want you to touch me anymore. I don't really want to yes. be you know touched what? while I think, I'm sleeping. Like, ugh. You know what, I think, I think <laughs> if I was a professional cuddler, I think I would make a lot of money because I'm what you call a big spoon, right? Right. <laughs> oh, you're yes. great at yeah. doing it. I do like spoon. hugging you, Lonnie. Yeah, see, and you I have do. little spoon, big spoons. And yes. little spoons, y'all wouldn't make no money, but I would make a lot of money. I would. <laughs> I'm medium size. I, then if you <laughs> work it, you I just want to say, <laughs> she's a really good cuddler. <laughs> yeah. I cuddled with Lonnie. She slept over my house. And okay, she's a no, wonderful I'm charging cheer. you by the minute right now. Hey! <laughs> it's expensive. You know what, though? If that woman has a phone number, I want it. Because I would love, I'm home by myself all the time because my husband oh, that's yeah. he's not home with me. And you do miss someone to sleep with. Girl, get you your stuff there. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I, yeah. I have three body pillows in I'm bed. Say, or your you pillow. Do? Yes, yeah. I need one on my side to feel like you're laying next you know to something. Really one good? in between your legs because you wrap your leg over the other one. Get your mind out of the gutter. Like, just wrap it up. And then one just to hold. You want to know what's really good? Right. Just get maybe like his, his sweater that has his cologne, cologne. on it and cuddle with that. Okay. That's what I do. I got about six of those from different dudes. <laughs> I but it love really works. That. That's a good idea. It works. The white tea. You go to yes, sleep yeah. with your man's well, yeah, white put it on, on and it yes. smells mm -hmm. like his cologne. Do you guys have any bad etiquette? Do you have any? I always steal the covers. 
I'm oh, horrible with really? that. Really? Yes. The worst is to wake up because you're cold. Yeah, I know. I oh. do it all the time. So then you put two sheets. You give him his separate. I take it all, Jeannie. Oh, <laughs> oh you take it I all? I take it all. Even if he had a separate at some point in the middle of the night, I will you're find taking my way, it. yes, grabbing it. You got to go on their side of the bed and eat, right? Yeah. <laughs> And you crumb they side of the bed, and then you go on your side of the bed, and you don't have no crumbs. What is it? What is it about <laughs> eating wow. the bed? No, what is phenomenal? It? No, no, it's no, because you are sleeping on top of crumbs, crumbs bed the bugs, worst. and food, no. and bug I, mites, and you stuff guys like don't that. Don't enjoy breakfast in bed or That's some God. chips. You know when you when you but, pop some popcorn in the microwave. Wait, wait, wait! wait, wait can I tell the popcorn story? What is it? Chuck E. Cheese in bed, <laughs> chips yeah. and popcorn. Yeah. Okay, no, yeah. get this, you guys. This is so nasty. Me and Agent will just talk between shoots and stuff, and I'll be like, one day it really bothered me. Adrian, are you serious? You really eat in bed? Like, yes. you'll, you'll, like, just eat in it's bed amazing. and not clean it up? And she's like, no, pizza boxes, pop no, bags. No, wait a second. You had a pe a but I'll box. clean it up after and take it out. I'm not, yeah. So I asked but her, I love have, to eat in bed. Have you actually ever found food in your bed afterwards? You guys know what she said? She said, <laughs> She found a piece of popcorn in her bed from weeks ago that she had had <laughs> in her bed. It was kettle said, corn at that. And she said, girl, I just ate it right back in. I, I was like, I oh did. my god. That's it's so popcorn. Weird, but it's, it's popcorn. That is the single life. I think a good bed etiquette thing is I don't want you to go to bed dirty. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? It's like, especially dirty feet, but you oh, know. Oh, yeah. But especially being single, I don't, you know. You what? know, she might want to get some in the morning, so <laughs> I might make sure that you clean at night. So it's like, that's my thing. Yeah. Like, take you, a shower before yeah, you gotta take a shower. Yeah, you got to take a shower. Like, I cannot stand when people sleep in their clothes. Like, no outside clothes. Up. Yeah. My mother, calls, my mother calls it street clothes. Yeah. So you're going to go to sleep in your street clothes? Because all that dirt is yeah, on and you put it in the bed. I yeah. do it. I, like I do all of the above. Not only that, but you guys know this very well. What? I sleep, sleep in my makeup, makeup almost on. every oh night. Oh, my God. That is yes, so not she, she knows this. But the She's bad, so the worst is when I wear red lipstick. And it then all it's all over my white sheets. I hate that. Well, then take it off. I know, oh, Adrian. Too lazy. Oh. Guys, you guys she know, won't. we work long hours, so sometimes I walk in and I lay down just like this, shoes and all, and then I just Adrian. So fall out. I'm what sorry. about shoes? And then I wake up and I be like, oh, I sent you a picture of myself and I will be fully dressed in my clothes from the show. Nasty. I can attest yeah, I know that. what I'm going to get. I can powder I can myself, brush my teeth, and keep it I know what I'm going to get you for Christmas, Adrian. What? It's the makeup wipes. It's, it's so easy. It don't All matter. you have to she... do is just... Done. We are going to chip in, and we're going to go get her a year's yes. supply of wipes. That's yes. what we're going to do. Now, what about pets in the bed? You what? Know no. no way. It's Thursday, and I thought it would be fun to share some of our holiday picks from when we were younger. Yes, y'all yes. excited about I that? I'm excited that. about that. I love that. Let's ride that sled. Back in time for today's Throwback Thursday Holiday Edition. Yay! All right, ladies. I will start by throwing it back to Christmas morning. Now, can you tell if I was happy with my gifts from this Throwback <laughs> Thursday picture? Tay Tay. That oh was a God. real, real ungrateful heifer back then. No, but what are you holding in your hand? Something probably I don't want. You look like Millie Vanilli. <laughs> right? <laughs> a cute one. Uh, okay. But isn't it so crazy to look at the stuff around you? Like, look at the sofa from back in the day. Ooh, you had the wood, wood paneling. paneling. Oh. Oh. I had wood paneling. Christmas always holds such fond memories. So Aww. check me out just before Aww. I open my presents one Christmas oh my in my Throwback Thursday. Look at how nice Do you see my face? No, but you guys, do you see the wrapping? Do you see the wrapping paper? Do you see and the do you see the Christmas rug, tree? And the oh, my mom did not that play. That looks like Taj. I'm sorry. Taj. It does. It does. Look. Like a smart guy. It does. You had yeah. a point. Like oh oh my god. Was that you carpet cute. specifically for Christmas? No. Um, my mom actually was stationed in Korea, mm -hmm. and they got that that rug from That's Korea. That's And it just rug. happened to be Christmas. It happened color. to be red, red and green. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciated awesome. you have a little bit of my people there. Okay, <laughs> moving on. So here's me looking super, super fly as Miss Fashionista during Christmas time. Why are you all looking out and profiling? Did you like it? <laughs> yes, well, there's. Well, see, I, I want to take credit for that, but there's really only two poses in the Asian community. There's one which is the <laughs> me so pretty. Yes. And then that one's like the dreaming of dumplings. 
Oh, I she... thought that was me love you long time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, my family always went all out for Christmas. Check out. This is me and my Papa Joe. Oh! Oh, my gosh. Like 12. Wait, Adrian, you look beautiful. You look exactly yeah. the same. That I was 12. You used to take your makeup off. That's what happened. <laughs> she tried. This actually isn't at my house. We clearly didn't have a fireplace in the in the projects of the Lower East Side of New York City. This was my Titi Miriam's house in New Jersey. And to me, going to New Jersey, growing up in New York City, uh -huh. was like, oh my God, they have, you know, grass and trees. Really? And yeah, because we don't have that. Like, my backyard was like a concrete playground, so. Wow. Well, yeah. you know what, you won't even recognize me because I've changed so much since my holiday, T. Ooh. T. I want to see. Mean, come on, look at that. Bonnie. Sons of Anarchy, our next guest is no stranger to laying down the law. Ooh. Now he's putting his smoking hot guns to work as a sexy FBI agent on The Mentalist. Please welcome Rothman Dunbar! Hi. Okay, Rock, before you join the couch here, All right. we want you to come right over here and spin oh. the oh. heel! Oh. Give it a good one. Okay. All right. <laughs> so whatever lands on, you have to do. Ooh! Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Guilty pleasure. Do have tell. I want to hear all about it. Guilty Rothman. pleasure. Yeah. Biggest guilty pleasure. Biggest guilty pleasure. Uh... It's okay. We embarrass Say ourselves it, all the time. Please. Tell us. Loving hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> and let's categorize. Yeah, let's, let's, let's put it in priority. Okay. I, I gotta go with Atlanta first. All right. Okay. Then I gotta go to New York. Okay. Not really cool on Hollywood, but you know, it was kind of roping me in. Just a little bit, a lot of interesting faces. <laughs> that okay. is oh, fun. A lot of interesting that. faces. Oh, that is so funny. Oh, wow. Well, Rod, awesome. you and I know each other. Yeah, yeah. Through the industry. <laughs> lovely, and um, I'm going to tell you, he is one of the flyest brothers around, but you are Thank really you. looking fly nowadays. Thank you. Thank so, you. what inspired this whole new look? My wife called me. I was shooting a pilot in Chicago. And uh, she said, Hey, look, I'm going to send you a picture. Tell me what you think. I was like, all right. Sent me a picture. She's pregnant. Wow. Pregnancy wow. show. Great, right? Wait, what? She was 126. I was 198. By the time the baby arrived, I was 250 super. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> Wow. Wait, My wait. wife was 214. Yeah, I was Yeah, I'm two, telling all your business. Just telling all your business. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm telling all your business. I'm telling you, I was a good 210 when I delivered Logan. Hey. And my husband was a good 30 pounds heavier, too, because I made him hey. eat with me. That's a part of it. <laughs> when you saw your wife, that made you go, I got to no, change. You know what? I, I still was fine. Everything was cool. I didn't really notice how much weight I gained until mm -hmm. my dad was calling me every week, like, hey, uh, son. You know how high blood pressure, diabetes, and sugar running our family. Yes. You need to do something about this. Yeah. This, is, this is getting a little bit out of control. I saw you when you walked towards the camera, and then you turned your back, and the whole screen went black. <laughs> you know? oh. Oh. And for the love of my daughter, I tell you, I walked into her room one day. Well, look at this. Oh. 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 You were inspired. I mean, this is for the love of all women. Your wife, all right. me, hey. everybody. Just nah. not your wife nah. and your this baby. This is That's amazing. Look oh, at that. Wow. You look great. You and your wife, Maya, married last year and recently yeah. had your daughter, Berkeley. Oh, yeah. This wasn't your first trip down the aisle. Yeah. So what was it about Maya that convinced you she was worth a second shot at love? Uh-oh, look at it. Look at oh, his face. Man. You know, it, it's, it's so easy and so <laughs> simple. It's so, <laughs> fellas, when you really meet the right one, tell her. <laughs> Dog, you won't have to ask your mama, your daddy, your cousins. You won't even care about what they think mm -hmm. because this woman has put you in a place and a position to be a better man. 
That is all amazing. Right. Well, I'm sure that she loves you in a suit just like all the other men do. You know, a man in uniform is something that most women love, and your character on The Mentalist is no exception. She agrees. All right, tell us about your role as FBI agent Dennis Abbott. He's a little bit of a different voice. Uh, he's a much conservative character. He's so happy to join The Mentalist team. Everyone has been so great, so wonderful, so beautiful. I mean, this is an incredible year for me, and I love my job. We're here with Rockman Dunbar, and we're about to get all sorts of merry and bright. Now, Rock, it's the holidays, and we've got a fun little game for you. You ready? I'm competitive. It's going to be great. <laughs> right. That's what I want to hear. That's because right. he's from we're the We're going to split into two teams. Now, each team will work together to untangle a box of lights, wrap the lights around the tree, hang the ornaments and the candy canes on the tree, and place a star on the top. Now, the first team to finish by plugging in the lights on the tree wins. Okay. okay. You ready to play? Yes. Light it up. That's you. That's right. all you. Woo! Light it. Light it. You ready? It's done. Okay, so Rock, we're gonna leave it to you to pick oh, your two teammates. Oh, he's picking all the right? Okay. Well, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, Marty's taking the Take the shoes off. Take the shoes off. Let's get this. Go ahead and get down and do push up. Oh, all really? Right. Oh, that's all how right. we gonna it's do it? Like you know. Oh, okay. Pick your right. Get I'm not afraid of no girl. All right. Well, that's why we're gonna leave it to you to pick two teammates. All right. Now I'm just saying, choose wisely, cause you know. Obviously, the line has already been set. So, uh, we got the sexy team over okay. here. We got the sexy okay. team. You made that decision a little too easy, <laughs> Rockman. <laughs> All right. Come on, girls. Let's just show them how it's done. The way I'm saying is that I'm going to bless the top of the tree. I'm little. I can climb over there. Genie, Whatever. you're going to plug the lights yep. in. You got this? Yep. Just All right, there's yeah. no okay. way we're losing. You can strategize all you want, right. but I have this tree thing down, okay, to a science. We, got we do this, this in my house. Right here, yes. Okay. And yeah, there's whatever. no way we're asleep. gonna let you in just because you're a guest. We huh, guess this. Right. Yep. Can you hurry right. up, please, so we can go? All right, are you ready? Whistle. We go the on the Christmas gotcha. whistle. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, Lights first. Okay, this is the end. So we're gonna leave this down here. Go around, Lonnie. Hey, this is Tamar. Tamar, yeah, you keep doing that. Okay, Lonnie, go on the other side. Oh boy. Yo! Get out of here! Oh my god, you gotta go to the mid. Sorry's out, you wanna do it? No, no, you go first. Hey, go! Stop! Go! Yo, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in! Light it up, light it up! Wait! Woo! Welcome back. Man can be a real mystery, especially this time of the year. Mm -hmm. We at The Real got you a gift. A man who's willing to break the guy code and tell us ladies like it is. You loved him the first time, so back by popular demand is Dante Spencer with our holiday edition of <laughs> Welcome back to The Real, Dante. It's great to be back. You're looking fine. So are you, dang. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, the last time you were here, we talked about the importance of lingerie, how to tell if he's lying and how far men will go to get some. I can't wait to hear what you have for us today. Mm -hmm. So, who in the audience has a question for Dante? Come on over here. All right, girl. Well, tell us your name and what city you're representing. Asleen from San Francisco. All right, now, you look like you had a really good question for Dante. What is it? Okay, so I've been dating my boyfriend from nine, for nine months now. Okay. And um, at his holiday parties, he's only introducing me by name, not my girlfriend, Asleen. Well, I'll admit one thing. Us guys can be really dumb sometimes, so he may just be oblivious. Mm. Or he has some serious commitment issues. Oh. Next time you go out, introduce him as your neighbor. Ooh. If he gets mad. If he gets mad, then yes. But if he just is like. Bleh. Cool with it? Because, girl, you want a man that's going to be excited about you. He should right. be wanting to tell everybody about you. You know what right. I'm saying? You better check him fast. OK. I'm just I saying. will. All right, Lonnie, you have somebody with another question? Who has a question? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, girl. What's your name? What city are you from? Italia Maria from Gainesville, Florida. All right. Woo! What can Dante do to help you? Okay, Dante, here's the thing. 
So I keep asking my man to come home with me for the Christmas holidays, right? He keeps coming up with these lame excuses each year as to why he can't come. He hasn't met my family yet, and we've been dating for five years. What? That is bad. That's really bad. So I say this. He has a serious fear of marriage. He doesn't want to meet your family because he thinks that's the next step. I wouldn't oh, spend much money on him for Christmas this year. Okay, girl. Adrian, who you got over there? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Anybody over here have a question? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, you look like you have a really good question. Got something important to ask. Come on over here. Come on up here, girl. All right, what's your name and where are you from? Janae from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. Detroit in the house. What would you like to ask Dante? Okay, Dante, so you know, the holidays are here now. It means the in-laws are coming here. So I have a problem with my mother-in-law. She always has a complaint on my mac and cheese or how my house is decorated, always critiquing stuff. Should my guy step up for me? Do your parents-in-law drink? <laughs> well, yeah, they do. Okay, so right when they come over, give them eggnog with extra nog. <laughs> <laughs> Should her man stand up for her? You know what? You come on down here. I'll demonstrate with you. We're both coming now. Okay, who am I? Am I the mom? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is uh, this is my girl, and you're the mom. Here come Auntie. Okay, here hey! come. <laughs> What's your name? Dante. Uh huh. What you do for a living? Don't touch me. Yeah, I'm the Auntie. <laughs> what are you gonna do for my niece? What I'm gonna do for her is be the best man that I can possibly be. Why are you pointing at the mama and not my <laughs> niece? He just has too many skills. He can't even help That's himself. That's what it is. He is running game like most men do. <laughs> Welcome back. This time of year, everyone loves a good surprise. Some are spur of the moment, while others are a long time in the making. And sometimes, the thought that goes into planning a surprise can be a journey in itself. Yes, our next guest has been planning something major for someone in our audience. <laughs> who could it be? Like, who really could it be? <laughs> Let's find out. Take a look at this. Arcella again, surprise. I know I got you. You can say what you want, but I'm positive that I got you. Again, there's no shortage of people that tell us we belong together. Oh Even strangers tell us that we look absolutely fantastic together. And I definitely agree. From the moment that I saw your picture on Facebook, your smile just made me say, wow. I'm in love with you. You complete me. You compliment me. You make me the better version of me. I love your family. You love my family. I was completely blown away. And I've been blown away by that amazing smile ever since. Again, I love you. surprises me. Well, now they did. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but I want to meet him. Yeah. You guys want to meet him? <laughs> All right, dog. Come on out. You are the hardest person to surprise. <laughs> you know I love you. Wow. Um, on the 18th of last month, I called someone very important to you and got the okay. I did. Suleiman. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Arcella Gant, will you marry me? Absolutely. <laughs> I couldn't reach you at work. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Uh, that would see? be why. That would would be. you agree that that is a great surprise? I think so. <laughs> Arcella. There we go. Arcella. Looking stunning. Doug. By the way, she didn't say yes. She said absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you feel right that. now like a big weight has been lifted off your shoulders? I mean. Uh, the hardest thing was surprising Arcella because she's so, so hard to surprise. Um, when I tell you she's ruined some great surprises. <laughs> <laughs> We had one scenario where there were about 15 to 20 of us that were ready to go to brunch for a surprise for her birthday. And she decided, no, I don't want to go out to eat today. Oh, Lord. And it was, um, you what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what do you Look mean by that? Look at her, Look Look at at her, her ring. ring. Let's and see you, that rock, you girl. You've got tears in your eyes. Let's yeah, see yeah, 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 because it was successful. What Surprising her was here successful. On the I know. When the scenario made itself available, I just absolutely knew that she would buy into being a fan because she definitely loves each and every one of you guys. And getting it all kind of scheduled out was just the fun part. Well, you did oh. a good job. Let me see that rock, yes, honey. Yes, you did. <laughs> it is beautiful.